Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm doing really good. I have another Dollar Tree haul for you here. This one, I don't know, it's probably mid-size I'd say. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and show you what I, what I had in my thumbnail. It's their flower sack towels. I love these. I just think they are so cute. They just make me smile. I put them over the handle on my oven door absolutely love one love them I have I have it there right now I had every single few days I switch them out put another cute one on and these are the flower sack they're not the microfiber that kind of sticks to your hands these are the regular cotton I'm going to show them one at a time they did have another one that was a beach theme but I didn't pick it up my kitchen just isn't a beachy type of kitchen so I just didn't think it would look right in there, but if, if yours is, or you have a bathroom with a beach theme, these would be great to have. And this one says, sunshine kisses and summer wishes. It's just so cute. Let me see what the size is for you here. They are by the Home Collection and they are 100% cotton. It's a 15 inch by 25 inch towel, nice size. I just absolutely love them. And on the back it has, the, um, it's kind of like a mustard yellow, orange, and red polka dots. I just think that is so cute. And I have a little trick for you too, because these are a pain in the tush after you wash them. If you throw them in the dryer, they're gonna be a wrinkle mess. What I do is that when I get it out of the washing machine, I use my hands, just kind of iron it out with my hands on the top of my dryer. I fold it the way I want it folded, exactly like they have it from the store. I fold it like that and I just let it lay on the dryer, the dryer top. And with each load of laundry, cause I usually do a couple loads of laundry at a time, I'll just flip it over. And by the time I'm done with my laundry, the towel is dry and it's nice and flat and smooth and I don't have to iron it. So yeah, that's what I, that's what I do with these. So that was that one. And this one is just super cute. And it says life is sweet and it has the watermelons on it, the back, has little watermelons and a, just little little zigzags that kind of look like W's and triangles. So, so cute. I just love these. I have no idea if there's any more to this collection or not, but they had these these two and then they had, like I said, the one with the beach, the beach theme. So I have no idea what, what else there is out there with these, but I just absolutely love them. And they did have a few that I had picked up and shown in one of my previous hauls for the like grilling type theme. And they do have a lot of microfiber out now too, but I don't really pick those up. So let's see, which way should I go? Since we're doing the kitchen, I picked up these. We've all seen these before. This is the Shore Fresh. They're the little containers with lids. Have they always had the bonus size of five with these? I was thinking the bonus size was four, not five, but this is the only pack I saw in the store. I didn't see any others but this one. And I thought that was a really good deal to get a pack of five with lids. And I use these all the time. Yes, I've been slowly changing out to glass, but every once in a while, you, you just need one of these. These are the square ones and it is a 2.08 cup is what they hold and they are microwave, freezer, top rack, dishwasher safe, remove lid before heating in the microwave and they are BPA free. So I just thought that was an excellent deal getting five of these. That's the perfect little size for us to put leftovers in. So yeah, I saw them and I picked them, picked them up. I thought that was a great deal. Let me know if this size, the square size is always a bonus of five. I don't know why I was thinking that was a pretty good pretty good deal and I needed a little um like marinating brush I don't even know what to call basting brush this is by cooking concepts I needed a new one mine's getting pretty shabby looking the one I have now I've had for years and I know I bought them at Dollar Tree I don't even know five years or so ago and it came in like a multi-pack of different sizes they had a black handle with the white with the white brush on it they're just so stained up beyond beyond cleaning anymore so they're going to go in the trash and I thought this one was pretty interesting looking they had several different colors I know they had red and green and this is kind of like the teal teal color so I picked this up to give it a try they had all different types of utensils 
out of this. I think I've probably even shown some before, but it's it's by Cooking Concepts. So yeah, if you guys have tried these, let me know the life on them. Do they last a while? Do they clean up nice, stain, whatever it may be? And please don't mind my nails. It's time for them to come off. It's been over two weeks and it's time for me to, time for me to refresh. But yeah, I picked that up when I saw it. And in the, we'll, we'll stick with like kitchen cleaning. I finally found this. I found the clear, the shower cleaner, but I had a bugger of a time finding this, the regular just bathroom, they call it bathroom cleaner. And I just love the packaging on this. It reminds me of the Method brand. I was trying to think of what that brand was and it's Method, I believe by Target. This is LA, LA's totally awesome bathroom cleaner and it's for soap, scum, mold, and mildew remover. And it says, actually puts cleaning power into plain old water. This is the fresh scent and it's a 32 fluid ounce bottle. It's a gigantic bottle. It's so big. And the clear for the shower itself, I really like it. I love the, sem the smell of it. It works great. So I thought I'd give it a try. I did open this to smell it when once we got home. I'm not a super big fan of the scent. Maybe once when you're cleaning with it. I mean, it's okay. It's not bad, but it smells very strong to me. So I'm kind of curious to see what it smells like when I'm actually cleaning with it. So if you guys have tried this, let me know what you think. So I thought I thought that was a pretty great deal. And the packaging gets me every time. And then I saw this. This is the Spick and Span. They also had this in a lavender scent, but I did not pick that up. And it says kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria and viruses. And it says kills the virus that causes COVID. COVID-19. This is the Spick and Span Everyday Antibacterial Cleaner Fresh Lemon Scent. Um, it is a 20 fluid ounce bottle. Nice big container and I love Spick and Span products. So I thought I would give this a try and see what, see what I think about it. If you guys have tried this, let me know. But I did not pick up the lavender. I'm, cleaning products, I'd rather them not be lavender scent. Oh, that, that smells nice. It smells real nice. It smells clean and fresh. So yeah, if you guys have tried this, let me know. What on, let's see, which way should I go here? We'll go to kind of like the baby and beauty type aisle. I saw this. I love their cornstarch baby powder, and I think it's by the Baby of Mine brand. They had this brand there this time, and it is the Perfect Purity brand. I'd never seen this before. It's pure cornstarch baby powder with aloe vera and vitamin E, and it's a nine ounce, nine ounce package. I have never seen this before, and it is by the Davion Incorporated Company out of New Jersey, and it is made in the USA. But I thought that was that was pretty cool, so I picked it up. And they did also have the the other brand, and I think it's Baby of Mind. It, mine is the other brand of it that we use all the time. And I actually picked up some for our new granddaughter. So I did pick up two of these, one to pass on to our daughter for her, for the baby. And I we switched from talc and strictly used cornstarch powders. And we really like it. So I'm hoping this works as good as the other product. And I got myself a new pair of new pair of readers. I thought these were kind of cute. They had kind of like the cat eye style to them. And these are the 1.75 reading glasses. I buy their, their readers all the time. I go through glasses like crazy. I'm going to take this off and see what these look like. But I go through glasses like crazy, and I just, you know, why not spend... Oh, I like those. I did not try these on in the store. I just... And there's actually a sign now on our sunglass display and the reader display not to try them on in the store. So I brought them home, but... Yeah, I think those look pretty cute. So, yeah, I spent a buck on readers. I actually have this pair that I'm wearing right now, and I have another pair sitting here, and there's another pair in the drawer, and can't tell you how many are spread out around the house, but they're a dollar, so I buy them there, and they work well. I never have a problem with them, so I really enjoy them. I found another tube of the the um, Maybelline, the Snapscara, and this is in the Cherry Black Cherry 320. I love this stuff. I'm actually wearing it today. All this hair, guys. Oh, I need to call and make an appointment to get my hair cut. 
I love this mascara and I haven't seen it now for a few weeks and went into the store the other day and there was a whole bunch of them again just this color not the other colors that they had and I picked I just picked up one but I really I like this a lot it goes on well it comes off easily so yeah when I saw it I picked it up because I'm surprised I'm you know even saw it again I figured it would be gone and by the way guys the stuff from the last haul and this haul are all from the we call it cross keys it's cross keys new oxford on route 30 is where all of these are from that dollar tree and the stocks look great there they're finally starting to get their trucks in but she was telling us that they're still behind on things and she's having problems now with the freezer area getting getting stocked in that area so I was hoping everything was figured out for her, but it, it's slowly and getting back to normal, but it's not there yet. So yeah, I, I picked up another thing of this. I'm sorry, I kind of got sidetracked there. And everybody asks about my lip color. Almost every video I get at least one person that asks. So today I actually have on just this, just my, my pink, and the writing is so small on the bottom that I never can read it for you guys, but I found another tube of it in the store so I picked it up to have on hand and it is called dreamy pink so if anybody ever asks about my lip color when I say it's the pink gloss it's called dreamy pink and it's the BLG 62 this is the LA colors moisturizing lip gloss vitamin E enriched glossy finish 0.34 fluid ounce container and it is the same it, it may look kind of different because of the the packaging and stuff but it is exactly the same i absolutely love this i have one in my purse i have one in my makeup bag this one usually stays up here so this one will just be a spare for when i run out because i use it all the time every time i put makeup on this is the gloss i use i i use lipstick but it's not as often as what i wear gloss and i love this and plus it kind of has a bubble gum type scent to it not taste but scent okay so we're gonna move to some food stuff so I've shown this before I picked up another bottle me and the hubby both love Caesar dressing this is the wish bone creamy Caesar with aged Parmesan cheese it, I believe it's an eight fluid ounce it is the best by date is November of 21 so we oh my gosh guys I am so so sorry oh I hope that wasn't too awfully loud we picked up another one of these. They had all of these still where the all their barbecue things are, their scrapers and cleaners and everything for the barbecue. They had all different kind of dressings still in that. It was kind of a nice big end cap. And we really like this, so we picked up another one to have on hand. And that should get us through the summer easily since we have two of these. And we picked up a ranch and we picked up a balsamic vinaigrette. We should be set for the summer. I hope you picked up some of this. It's the South Gate hot dog chili sauce it's a 15 ounce can he has picked these up many many times and he really enjoys them and the shelf life is march of 24 nice long shelf life and let me see i have no idea where it is from it says packaged by southgate foods of nashville tennessee but i have no idea if that's where it's actually made and I have been saying, trying to remember to say where things are made and packaged. I had a couple requests now that people really do like to know. So that's why I've been trying to look when I remember and tell you guys where things are made. Hubby really likes this. He likes just heating up a hot dog and putting some chili sauce on it. And he enjoys it. He's had it before. Absolutely loves it. And apparently we were out. So he, he got himself another one. And we also got a thing of the Rotel Original. <clears throat> These are the diced tomatoes with green chilies, and it's a 10 ounce, 10 ounce jar or can, I'm sorry, and it is best by June 20th of 22. Next year for that, nice long shelf life. I'm not quite sure what we're going to make with this, but I think some kind of like a, like a cheese dip type thing with this in it. And these are really good. This is a name brand. You know, you can buy this at any one of the, the grocery stores. It's a name brand, nice sized can. So we picked this up. If you guys have any good recipes that you use this with, let me know what you think. You know, share. 
And I saw these and had never seen them before. Another name brand, it's the Planters. And these are the sea salt and vinegar peanuts. And it's six, a six ounce can. And let me see, their February of 22 is the shelf life. I have never seen the sea salt and vinegar. I thought that was pretty interesting. I keep watching for the smoked to come back out and haven't seen them. And of course they have just the original, but have you guys tried these? That just seems like a really interesting combination to me, the vinegar and the peanuts. So I'm really curious to try these. Maybe after I'm done with the video videos, I'll open up this can and, and give it a try. I, I know I'll like it because I do like salt and vinegar, but that's just a pretty funky combination to me. And hubby saw these and picked them up. And let me see if I can find the how to do them here. These are the Loma Linda. These are tuna. And it is, this one is lemon pepper. And this one is spicy sriracha. I've never seen these in the store and neither had he. And we both love tuna. So we we just picked up two of these to try because we've never tried them, tried them before. Oh no, this isn't tuna. If you look, it's to know. This is a sustainable plant-based protein. So is this like tofu? It is, yes, it is like soy protein. Oh, interesting. I don't know if hubby even realized that. That is really, but the, this is the lemon pepper. And this is the spicy sriracha. Interesting. Have you guys tried these? What do you think? The shelf life is May 7th of 23 and April 24th of 23. So nice long shelf life on these. Hmm. That's interesting. I did not know that until just now. I just, it looked like tuna to me and similar can. So I'm sure you're going to get a review on that sometime in the future. Hmm. And hubby picked up two of these. They're the Rippets. He, I can't remember, Monster. He had tried the Monster drinks. And I'm actually going to show one of them in the review, the um, empties haul that I have coming up. And he got these to try. The Monsters, he said, were okay. That, that was his response. They're okay. So I think he tried, wanted to try these. These are sugar-free. It's energy fuel. And they're zero calories. I need a sneeze. <coughs> I am so sorry, guys. Man, this video is a freaking mess. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, my goodness. But he got this one, and then he got this one, and it says it's sugar-free. Rip it, and it says tribute, and it's kind of camo camo print and what it says is active mandarin live wild lime and it is an energy drink as well and they're both 16 fluid ounce cans so he's going to give these a try and and see what he thinks he likes trying different different things way more than i do me um i'm a lot more boring than he is and we also found another another flavor of the old orchard healthy balance this is the cran cranberry grape and it is a 64 fluid ounce jug of this and let's see where it is made um let me see the bottle is bpa free and it is by old orchard brands and i'm not i'm not sure where it is from i'm sorry i i don't know where it is from but yeah we, we really like the old orchard drinks and everyone we've tried so far we really enjoy and the one we have in the fridge right now is the blueberry pomegranate acai i really like it and i know hubby does too and we've tried the cranberry grape you know and the other name big name brand stuff and we really enjoy it so i'm sure we're gonna love this too so yeah we picked up that and the flavors just keep coming out. I have no idea how many in total they have. And you know me, um, can't go through a video without without candy. 
You know, did you notice the last video? I, I don't believe that there was candy in it. But these are the Hershey's. I've never seen these before. This is the Milk Chocolate Pretzel Bites. And it's a 2.3 ounce little package, a little snack size package. Thought those were pretty interesting. We've never seen them before, but love pretzels and love Hershey's chocolate. So I'm sure these are going to be amazing, but these will get put away into the cabinet and they'll be brought out when, when the grandkids are here. And these are not, I, I do not believe they're individually wrapped. They do not feel like it. They're just small little, even smaller than malted milk balls. So if you guys have tried these, let me know what you think. They have to be good. They're Hershey's. They have to be delicious. And I think that is it, guys. I apologize for this mess of a video. Geez, first I blow your eardrums out by dropping that, and then I sneeze, and oh, I we really need more rain. We had a little bit the other day, but it wasn't enough to knock the pollen down, and I am struggling with it. And I just, I don't like taking anything unless I absolutely have to. So, I mean, it hasn't been bad enough yet for me to have to take some type of allergy med, but it's getting close. Today, I'm really feeling it. But anyway, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. If you're watching and you like this type of thing, subscribe. Love to have you as part of my YouTube family. It would mean the world to me. You guys are the best, and I tell you that all the time. Anyway, you guys go and have a great day. I'm going to do the same. I'll talk to you again here real soon. Peace.